All right, here we go. Back for round three. Winning the die roll. We'll wish, go ahead and wish our opponent good luck. Choose to play first. Um, this hand is very awkward. Um, we don't really do anything. We can't even activate our opal on turn two. We can't ramp with our opal. Um, it, it's very, very, very risky. But the, almost any card that costs like one mana or less is is good enough. I think I'm gonna keep it. It's by no means great though, and it is risky. There's some risk behind this hand, but I think I'm willing to go for it. Our opponent uh, wishes good luck. Wishes us good luck as well. All right, so go ahead and F6. I probably could. I probably should have played my opal there, but it's not. Uh, I don't want to give him and him, him, him an incentive to bolt our vault scourge or anything like that. Oh, stomping ground, Jund. Uh, okay, so this deck can be annoying. Um, all right. Well, that that that's exactly what I mean. Like this, that that was good. So. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and animate this. We'll bash for two, uh, but I'm going to Thought Cast first. So Thought Cast is good there. Uh, was I mean, it was fine. Um, the question is, is do I want to Galv Blast this? I, I don't really know exactly what this is. trying to think but I I might even want to just play opal keep this one and I think I'm okay taking two damage that I want to thought cast this turn just to dig more yeah I, I really want to I really want to play like I don't have to kill this if I have a plating on a vault scourge right because <laughs> he can't he can't race a plating on a vault scourge he has to have bolt for vault scourge I'm not quite sure. Hopefully he taps out for like a Strangaroo Geist or something. House Housepark Elemental is perfectly acceptable. Uh, we take five, go to fourteen, but we're we're just gonna bash for so much. Hopefully we can draw something spicy. Well, Mem Knight's fine because it can chump lock and adds to our artifact count. Um, play Glimmer Void. Play Springleaf Drum. Um, play plating, quit plating, and chump block. This puts them on a two-turn clock, so I'm going to do this. Yes, so the reason I was digging is I was, plating was the exact card I wanted to find. I don't think I've actually played against this deck, I've just... I played against it at a PTQ in real life. I was playing Splinter Twin, and uh, I, I drew very poorly, and, and I did lose. But um, I, I think our matchup's going to be okay. I, I, but he is going to have a bunch of Ancient Grudges, probably. Uh, that's fine. We'll uh, we'll just take four damage. I don't think it's relevant. Okay. So one thing to note, he, he is actually dead right now, um, because all I have to do is go animate and attack with both of them, and if he doesn't have bolt, we win. Because <laughs> I can just attach plating onto Blink Moth, and that would be 7, okay, so he doesn't have it. Okay, so he has the bolt. All right, so we just go, uh, whoops. It would be technically one short, but he doesn't know we have Gal Blast in our hand. So we'll go ahead and equip. And blast. All right, well, that was a good game for us. Uh, very fortunate that uh, we got we got we got we do the lucky plating there. Um, so against him, whoops, uh, go by color. 
shit, my name, sorry. Uh, I think Spell Skid's good enough. It, it blocks his creatures quite effectively, and it, it can redirect lightning bolts. Uh, Whip Flare doesn't seem like it does anything. We don't need Thoughtseize, we don't need Cage, and we don't need Ancient Grudge. I think he runs Goyf, and he might run like things like um, Gore, Gore House Chainwalker and stuff like that. Um, Thoughtcast was good there. I just don't think it's necessarily great. Um, we might want Dispatch. I don't know. I think we want Thoughtcast because we're going to expect Ancient Grudges and stuff. So I think Spellskite is a definite include. We'll probably just get rid of Memnite here. So the question is, is do I want to take out anything for a Dispatch? And I think the question is not right now. Or maybe on the draw we want a little bit more removal. Um, we do have to be careful of our life total if he's playing like Vexing Devil and stuff. His main deck removal was probably only Lightning Bolt, so post board we can probably expect like, you know, he could have Shattering Spree, or sorry, Shatterstorm or Creeping Corrosion, um, which would be very unfortunate. And we actually, I'm, it's not worth siding in Thoughts he's for, in my opinion, uh, unless I see it game, game two. I just don't know if I want Dispatch. And I don't think there's anything that's bigger than what Galv Blast can deal. So I think I'm going to take out Dispatch for now. Um, you know what? Thoughtcast could be a little bit slower. I'm going to take out two Thoughtcast for more removal. And uh, I mean, if we're not putting pressure on him, as long as he has no pressure, it's, it's not that big of a deal. So I do like setting in removal because he does feel, I feel like he is doing a lot of his damage uh, with, with removal. Or sorry, with, with, with creatures and not burn. So that's why I do want removal. Uh, this hand's extremely, extremely, extremely risky. But uh, with any colored mana or a second land, it's quite good. And uh, I think it's worth keeping. All right, so, I mean, that was just the absolute nuts, of course. We draw it. Uh, that's just the Nutter Butters. Yeah, that was gross. Storm count four. Woo! So yeah, I mean, next we're just going to thought cast, hopefully hit land, play a spell skite. Seems pretty good. Let's go ahead and F6. Pyroclasm? Okay. <laughs> I don't I don't think I would see him playing Pyroclasm, but you never know. Oh, he just got a nice, nice little aggro draw there. Bolt or Signal Pest or something? Pillar of the Vault Scourge? All right. All right, well, hmm. See, I, I really wanted to be able to, to thought cast first and then play a two drop. I mean, I'm attacking for one because I'm not blocking. Um, and I, I think there's a higher upside of playing Spell Skite first um, just because if he wants to bolt... Right, like think about it. If we block and he wastes a pillar or a bolt or something, then we're not overly concerned because, I mean, that's what it, it's essentially doing the same thing as is uh, as being able to like like he won't have the removal spell first. Steel overseer, presumably. So yeah, goblin guide is fine. I'm not too concerned about that. Hopefully, we do rip a land here. All right, that that is absolute nuts. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and Goblin Guide. Okay, it's fine. I mean, we're going to have to, we're going to have to draw well here. Like, I mean, a, a perfect draw would probably be, um, let's see. We're going to play this and then we're going to Thought Cast. And we need to draw like Edge Champion or something. Uh, I think we're okay taking six. We do need to draw something good here though. But because he has one card in hand, I think we can block later on. We're going to have a bunch of blockers with Ink Moths. And um, once we get counters on our guys, it's going to be a bit easier to block effectively. We just have to hope he, he doesn't draw a bunch of removal and gas and stuff. Um, so what card am I getting? Uh, so we're revealing Dispatch, which is going to help. Yeah, it's really going to help. 
Please don't have removal. Uh, well, one red looks like removal to me. Yeah, that's so annoying. All right, because we really needed that. Um, so we're going to go ahead and signal past. And, oh, I shouldn't have done that. I should have played Steel Overseer and like, Thought Casting. Or, I mean, this way I can Thought Cast. Let's Thought Cast. Try to draw something good here. All right, well. Oh, this sucks. This is good. We're going to have a... We're going to need a miracle here, I think. But we're not totally boned. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and block something probably with a blink moth. Or an ink moth. No, that doesn't work. Well, let's see what do we hit off of our goblin guide here. All right, well, we hit the mountain. I do think we need to dispatch something. Let's just block dispatch, take two. Uh, no, I want him to keep attacking with that. Let's block here and uh, dispatch that one. It does suck that like, I really, I should have just played my Steel Overseer. That, that was a, a pretty big misplay on my part. Oh, baby. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so we're going to go ahead. It's probably more relevant to just, just get more creatures online. So I'm going to go ahead and play Steel Overseer. And play Edge Champion. The Edge Champion was clutch. Because now he just... Um, I think it's more relevant to... Because if he attacks us, I, don't, I really don't feel like going to 4. Because I don't want him to top deck uh, Vexing Devil. So we do have to be careful of his life total. It doesn't look like he had, you know, much burn. Like, enough that we have to watch out. But we've stabilized. Like, we have triple Ink Moth. Like, if, if we... We have to make sure we don't take any more damage from creatures. And I think I will chump with Ornithopter. Actually, that I think that's incorrect. I'm going to actually chump with Signal Pest. Signal Pest definitely represents more damage on the, on the offense. But we're not being offensive here. And uh, having a 1-3 is going to be extremely relevant. And he might even not be able to attack us. Yeah, exactly. So, uh... That's really awesome, and I mean, that was just the nuts. All right, well, I feel like we just win with an Ink Moth, right? Because that would be, let's see. So one, two, right? Yeah. Holy. That's insane. Man, Ink Moth is too good. Ink Moth with plating is too good. All right, well, we got got six packs there in a QP. Let's see if we can take down another uh, modern going 4-0 with the next round. See you guys in the finals.